Well, in fact, there has been a disqualification there, but it doesn't affect the medal positions. They are still Boyko, Cole and Tampaxis. That's the gold, silver and bronze. So moving on to the men's 50 metres freestyle S4. One length, mad dash of the pool. Schumacher. There's a popular name from the Netherlands. He goes in lane number one. Next to Petracek. And Petracek taking on the big name of David Smetany of France. David Smetany done some great inspirational videos to promote Paralympic sport. A great ambassador he is. Mustafiev goes in lane number four, next to Sanchez Martinez in five. Martinez from Mexico. Darko Durik in lane six. 41.59 to qualify. Lizakin goes in seven. 42.48 for the Russian competitor. Cordero da Silva for Brazil, out in lane number eight, 45.97 to qualify. So two men swam sub 40 seconds this morning. There's the world record, 37.54. Mustafiev, 37.85 to qualify. So this will be an exciting race. Watch that clock, watch for that record. I have to say, he looked very good, Mustafa, this morning in the heats. Really has come on excellently in the last couple of years. Took the gold medal last year, of course, but probably a bit of a surprise taking that goal from David Smith and Ian, who probably started his favourite alongside the, the great Spanish competitor, Richard Rebe, who not around at these championships. Watch out for the young man in lane number five, though, Gustavo Sanchez Martinez, because he is one that could cause an upset. He won the gold for Mexico in the 100 freestyle and the 200 freestyle. Now, seeing what he can do over the shorter sprint distance. Stafayev, well, he's not his favourite. And he did look very good today in the heat. But I think Sanchez Martinez may have something else in the locker. It's a couple of seconds down, so whether it's enough to challenge a Ukrainian in lane four remains to be seen. I would say Mustafa and Sanchez Martinez may well fight out for the gold and silver, but you can never write out David Smetany. Absolutely. It'll be interesting to see the techniques these competitors choose. You can be in the uh, prone or supine position, so your front or your back. It is one length freestyle, so they are allowed to do any of the four competitive strokes and really is down to what is the fastest stroke for you as an individual. Of course, typically front crawl is the fastest stroke. The fastest way to move through water is, in fact, underwater. But these swimmers will be up and racing pretty quickly once they leave the wall or leave the blocks. Again, it's the swimmer's choice to either start in or out of the water. You can see lane six and lane five. Sanchez, lane five for Mexico. Secure on his block, also in lane six, Durek. Kind of multiple amputees there in five and six. Sanchez, Martinez and Durek. And the two uh, paraplegics, Smetanin and Mustayev, tetraplegics even, in lanes three and four, starting from the water. Also from the dive, Arnos Petracek, the butterfly champion, using an underwater butterfly to good effect here. But he's not going to be able to hold off the freestylers here. Great start there from Mustafaya. That's what he did this morning. Just faded slightly to not quite claim the world record. I think it could be on tonight, Nick. 
Yes, absolutely. I'm surprised to see Petrocek out in lane number two. He's doing the butterfly dolphin undulating kicking action to great effect. But look at this performance here from lane number four. It's going to be a very fast time indeed. 37.96. Oh my goodness. Mustafa Air from the Ukraine only just outside the world record. 37.54. Canada from Japan, the world record holder. That record stood for nine years. Mustafayev inside 38 seconds, so, so tight. Petracek there was away very well, and we can see him underwater very close to us here. Lane number two, second swimmer up, and he's into the lead. Did swim and move very well underwater, in the lead at 15 metres, but just around about 21 metres, Mustafayev took to the lead, never to be caught again. That's a 25 metre marker, halfway down the course, five metres from the finish, really revving up the stroke rate. And what a great performance, some three, almost three metres clear of his nearest rival in lane five, Sanchez. Sanchez Martinez from Mexico did swim well. There's the finish. Keeping that long, wasn't he? Real long, but you can see the effect in his hands of the, the tetraplegia there, not quite extending those fingers. Mustafaev takes the goal. Sanchez Martinez, the silver. Smetanin gets in for the bronze. David Smetanin on the podium again. He'll be pleased with that. And Schoenmacher just missing out in uh, fourth position there in the outside lane. Petracek, there you see him standing up there. Watch out for him and the bike.